What's up? Dane Insanity, Toy Insanity here. I clicked it so you don't have to. Back with another first look video. New, 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 new toy line by Moose called Aikido Ultimate Arcade Warriors. Showing up at Target stores. $10 per two figures. In the first look, I like to spend a little bit more time with packaging and checklist than subsequent videos. So we're going to open this one two pack in which we will reveal Axel and a Medusa. Some kind of Gorgon lady. Her name is Miss Slither. You know I had to go for that two-pack first because I love collecting Medusa. Roblox gave us one earlier. And now Moose. You don't see a whole lot of Medusa figures current year. What is the deal? What are all the gimmicks? I'll tell you what I like. First of all, it is only a set of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Collect all six versus packs. Not a huge set. Nothing blind. Nothing mysterious, no chase figures, no forced scarcity, no artificial inflated uh, nonsense by saying, oh, this is insanely hyper rare. Straightforward set. You buy six, two packs, $10 each. You got the set. Uh, or do we? There's always a chance that collect all six versus packs. One epic warrior in every pack. That just means the good guy. There's a good guy and a bad guy. Gosh, I hope it's not a set bigger than this. I always say, make a small initial set and then pump out series after series. If this is successful, get series two out there quick. Twelve more figures. Don't give the public a series one that's a hundred figures with, you know, ten levels of scarcity, ten levels of rarity where you have to chase down all these figures in blind packs. Oh my god, this could be so successful if it's not blind. Nothing to chase after. Small sets and then frequent subsequent sets. I don't know. In the world of Aikido and the Ultimate Arcade Warriors, choose your warrior battle with fury and finish them with a split strike. Next level battling action. Ready, fight, split strike. All right, so you, I'm getting a uh, knock em, sock em robots vibe. Also get a little bit of a... Remember the toy line Moose did called Mutant Mania? A little bit of a Mutant Mania vibe, except they're hard plastic. Honestly, there's a little bit of a Lego vibe. That is the Lego minifigure height and the head, at least on this one. I, I, I don't know. It's ABS plastic, so Lego material. What is the deal with this device? Uh-oh. Okay, so it looks like all the figures are ambidextrous. You could put the single weapon that comes with each in either hand. You can pop and swap, mix and match the weapons. Let me try and get this tie off. Miss Slither. Okay, oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, if it's permanently attached to that, I, I'm going to skip the whole toy line. Okay, but at least you can take this off, put this in your display case, your carry case, your storage case, or put it on your shelf without displaying gimmick-fied nonsense. Okay, yes, yeah, so you'll be able to switch the hand if you want, or give her an additional weapon if you want. Oh, come on. Right? Uh, okay, but she has a rubber band that's going to prevent her split. But maybe we can get the split shown on his axle, the Viking. Uh, most importantly, concerning the first video, is running through this checklist. I want to show you all the characters and the creativity involved with the figural design. Uh, is there a magnet in there? What specifically do you have to do to get it to... Split down. You gotta strike him. Okay. So, as they're battling on these devices, let's make sure we can insert them facing, uh, you know, if you're left handed or right handed, will they insert two different ways? No! Okay, this is weird. It's a dedicated position. You see uh, the flat side there. So, it has to go on this way. Okay? So, if you're displaying it or playing the gimmick, you have to hold it or put it on your shelf this way. I can't, I can't flip it around and now show you with my right hand. I can pull it back and show you his face on there, okay? I can't show it to you in a default position with him facing us. It makes no sense. Why, why would they have that in a dedicated... I, j I just want to turn him around 180 degrees. Anyway, okay, so he's going to do this, blah, 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 blah. This is a scorekeeper, okay? It says 0 through 10... But you gotta get the other figure or something to knock his head backwards, which splits him down the middle, and then you get a point value. I guess that sticker, it is just a sticker in there, is gonna vary 
you know, there might even be another axle on the shelf, which has a higher point. Now, she has a rubber band around her, but we still can manipulate it to see what point is inside. It's a white sticker, and it says, it says a heart. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, okay. Arcade Warriors, so there's some kind of old school video game influence here. Now, interestingly, they don't look 8-bit or 16-bit or anything like that. All right, put him back in default position. He looks like this. It is marked Aikido and Moose on the bottom of the figure itself. So, you know, 10, 20 years from now, people can identify him in the thrift store after the moon wobble destroys society. Okay. I'm still worried the set is bigger than this. Moose loves to get money from people chasing figures that they've deemed to be rare. You didn't have to make something extra rare, but they love to do it. Yeah, this is weird. I can't, I can't even, sh I can't even position them on the shelf in a versus arrangement because you can't turn that around. You have to put them on your shelf like that, provided that you know you're going to keep them on those things anyway. Uh, Axel versus Miss Slither. That's obviously the pack we got. Wild Tide versus Big Stinky. Well, that is just a diver, uh, a scuba diver versus a big baby. Inter interesting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Wild Tide, why are you beating up a big baby? Tail Whip is a dino. His he looks like one of the Gujitsu guys versus White Wraith. He is a ninja, a white ninja. Thunder Wind is a wizard versus Burnout. He looks like, well, he's a daredevil with a flame head and a flame on a chain. Uh, well, that is Ghost Rider by Marvel, basically. Chuck Slee is not a ninja, not a samurai, but he is the archetype of a martial artist. Chuck Slee versus Crack Up, who is a demented clown. So remember those hex bugs that they had in the little carts with characters? I can't remember the name, but they had a big baby, and they had a demented clown. Slam Granderson is a baseball player, and he's up against Shreddy Bear, which gives me the vibe of uh, the Bad Taste Bears and, you know, maybe a little bit of Five Nights at Freddy. Uh, I'm still scared this set's going to be bigger than this. I don't... I can... Moose, I can give you $60. $60. I don't want to... Don't make me chase rare stuff. Rare stuff in blind bags to complete the set but let's let's assume for the time being it's only a set of 12 i'm gonna go and tell you my ranking number one is miss slither that's why i already got it number two is gonna be shreddy bear my third favorite will be demented clown crack up fourth favorite in the toy line i will go with big stinky what a weirdo baby next favorite will be tail whip i'm surprised in this pairing the ninja the white ninja isn't the good guy and tail whip is the bad guy so i've already went to a hero what, what was this one two three four five six favorite will be the burnout daredevil seventh favorite well i already don't like any of the rest seventh favorite will be axel oh my gosh please tell me it doesn't say oh collect all 78 in season one inside this <sighs> akito ultimate arcade warriors basic game rules stick it on fight <laughs> They're showing the guy who in the arena would be on the right. And, you know, why is it that you can't just do one on your left and one on your right hand? They're showing him facing this way, but it's designed. You cannot pop that in facing you. Look at that. Split strike. Okay, I showed you that gimmick. Reset. Fight again. First two zero points loses. So, for some reason, we're counting down losses instead of wins. You start at 10. Oh, you lost. Take a point. That makes no sense. Official rules. Official rules. Health point. Damage point. Are on the base. Uh, each player selects three warriors. Okay, that's just to get you to buy more set health and attack figure two controller. <sighs> I already just noticed something. That's some kind of army guy. He's not on our checklist. That's a black clothed ninja. And these look like variants. Doesn't that look like a orange and a red ninja doesn't that look like a purple and a blue army guy oh my gosh yep this is exactly how oh my gif failed moose last year this is how a lot of toy lines fail not only do you make a big set i am an advocate of big sets for the most part but you make them so hard to collect 38 to collect that's only in series one here's the main problem more than there just being 38 figures 38 figures what is that 14, no, that would be 28. Uh, let's see, 19. 
19 two packs, 19 two packs. You could get me on board with paying for 19 two packs if the characters' sculpts are very nice. Okay? But here's the problem exclusive, ultra rare. That's either in a playset or it's some chase figure. And then, uh, where, to, where to find? Okay, I thought that was about to be rare, super rare, very ultra mega rare, legendary rare, epically insane rare. But it's telling you where to find. So if it has a white dot, you can find it in a single pack. If it has a gray dot, it's in a two pack. A yellow dot is in a four pack. A red dot is in the starter pack, which looks like a three pack. And then the blue is in a battle arena. So those two are going to be in some kind of play set. Find the limited edition. Stop doing this stuff. So that tells you stuff is blind. The single packs at least are going to be blind. Oh, now we got to go through this checklist. Here's one thing I like. Badfoot. You know, I collect Bigfoot toys. So we got a Bigfoot guy, but there's no Yeti. There's definitely going to be variants. Because uh, there's a, there's the bear in a different color, but they, they didn't do a Yeti? They didn't do a white version of that sculpt? Anyway. Oh my gosh. Classic. What is it? What does classic even mean? It's a brand new out-the-gate toy one. There's nothing classic. Nightblade, Chucks Lee, Pride Heart. Uh, a ninja, martial artist, a knight, Hyperlock, Axel, Buzzcut, Misuchi, Wild Tide. So a knight, a viking, an army guy, a samurai, a diver. Thunderwind, Aximus, Slam Granderson, Tail Whip. A wizard, a knight, a baseball player, a dinosaur. Epic, variant. Oh my gosh, so we get White Whip, Miss Slither, Burnout, Big Stinky, Crack Up. That is a ninja, a gorgon, our daredevil, the big baby, and a clown. Strikeout. Toxinator, Glows in the Dark, Shreddy Bear, and Loco Grande. A baseball player, a Frankenstein-looking guy, my second favorite in the whole line, and a Lucha Libre wrestler. Our ultra rare. Okay. It was like, okay, hey, hey, at least this isn't rarity ratios. The rarity ratios are here. Stop it. Blitzblade, Sun Shadow, Tear Bear, Twin Fang, Dead Breath, Dark Sting, Ultra Volt, Fly Swat, Battle Max. That's a Rambo-looking guy, a ninja again, a the teddy bear, a samurai again, a zombie, a knight, a knight, a dino, a knight. Legendary. <clears throat> Mr. Splits. That's a Two-Face, if I ever saw Two-Face. We got Two-Face and... Two-Face and uh, blah, 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 Ghost Rider in here. You can tell they're gearing up to cross it with Marvel or DC or both. Buster Bling is a cyborg. Yep. Okay, Shutdown is, it looks like Iron Man. Hi, Ashy. Yeah, with a flame head. And there's my Bigfoot called Badfoot, and there's a, someone called Starbreaker, I think is a lady, roller skater, like a, a rollerball, what's the thing where the girls roll around and battle roller derby. We get a roller derby, and then the screenshot is a guy with a TV for a head, I like that idea, and Turbo Chucksley is a variant of him, Chucksley, the martial artist, oh my gosh, $5 a piece, okay, for a tiny figure. A very weak gimmick. And then you gotta buy all these pack types. They're obviously gonna be blind to get a set of 38, which could be cool, despite there being that many figures, if it was, say, 19 sculpts, one variant each. But I'm getting some sculpts. I think the Ninja has three versions, and then a lot of things don't even have any variants. Just one straight up figure. But you know me, I cannot stand rarity ratios. I cannot stand chase figures that are blind. I mean, I can give you a pass on one or two levels of rarity, but when you're getting all the way down here to ultra limited edition mythical figure, shut up. Why? Uh, I'm 20 cents. I collected so you don't have to. Hopefully, you take a hard pass on these. Yeah, there's a couple decent sculpts, but this is not something I would anticipate pursuing. This is gonna this is gonna fail, just like OMG. OMG, they were cool, interesting sculpts and figures, but all that rarity nonsense. And can you find them all? <laughs> Goodbye.